I'm Jennifer Southwick. I'm here with my doctor, Dr. Kristen Craig. She is an OBGYN here at Logan Regional Hospital. Um, I have invited her today to discuss some information about pregnancy and about drugs and alcohol and how it affects babies and mothers. Um, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Um, first of all, let's talk about um, some of the, the statistics that we see with mothers who are struggling with drugs and alcohol. Right. Well, and the statistics are hard because they're gotten from um, surveys, and mm -hmm. so a lot of it depends. And so even when we talk about the numbers, we know that there's probably more than what we know because people have to admit to it. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, you, were, you had given me the statistic in 2013 that uh, 27,000 babies were born dependent on drugs. But if you think about the ones that are born dependent, that means there's so many more that have been exposed, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot, a lot of babies that are exposed to drugs and alcohol, 380,000 babies exposed to drugs, wow. 550,000 exposed to alcohol, and over a million exposed to tobacco. Oh my so a huge number. So the ones that actually have withdrawals and drug dependency that we see at birth are a small percentage of the ones that have been exposed mm. um, to all of them. So it's, yeah. a, it's a big problem. So tell me, why is this important that we know about this? So the problem with drugs and alcohol in pregnancy um, has multiple effects. One is the effects of the baby, of course. And so we know that with drugs, um, they can have withdrawals. With um, all of these drugs, alcohol and tobacco, they can have um, increased risk of stillbirth, increased risk of miscarriage increased risk of um, small babies that don't do it well, and increased risk of um, lifelong mental and physical um, developmental delays mm -hmm. that might not even be obvious until they're you know, five, six, seven years old where they're not then needing um, or staying caught up with the other kids. Mm -hmm. And so with fetal alcohol syndrome, you can see really severely affected babies from generally moms that have used alcohol daily or you know frequently in their pregnancy, where you see the facial anomalies and you see the mental um, problems, and really the, uh, one of the biggest things that I've seen is the aggressiveness, the violence that these kids can have. They are hard kids oh, to raise. Yeah. All the way though to babies or kids that look very, very normal, um, but just don't have the motor skills or don't have the emotional control or, mm -hmm. the, or the mental facilities. Um, when compared to other kids their age. Now you have to remember too that these babies are then being born into households that are doing these drugs mm -hmm. on top of it, and that's a yeah. whole other issue. That is. You know, somebody who smokes and that they continue to smoke when the baby's an infant, that baby's gonna have a lot more problems with asthma and chronic lung problems. Oh, definitely. Drugs, of course, are the withdrawals and just the um, environment that those kids are gonna mm -hmm. be raised in with those drugs. Well, and it makes them more likely to grow up wanting to do drugs because yeah. They've been that's, around it. That's what they know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there any type of alcohol that is safe during pregnancy? No, and there's been a lot of actual um, studies and a lot of people looking at that. And, and again, it's a difficult thing to assess because we're looking at pretty subtle changes in kids, but um, there has been some decent evidence that shows that any amount of alcohol might affect the overall um, brain development, the overall mental capacity of mm -hmm. kids, and, and especially their emotional development, how easy they are to be around. And so they're showing that even, you know, once a week drink or, um, might be indicated in some of these kids that are struggling later on. You know, so that's really the problem. The answer is no, they don't. Um, I think that a lot of women feel like they um, will get punished for it or penalized and um, women will often worry about losing their child or having child protective take their children if mm. something like that happens yeah. and not just this baby that every kids that you might have at home and so they're um, afraid to do that plus there's a stigma about yeah. it um, and probably rightfully so like I just mentioned why why can't you stop drinking for your child but there are some people who legitimately can't and um, the sad thing is that if they don't ask for help, then they're not gonna get help. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll deal with the consequences or their child will deal with the consequences yeah. for the rest of their life. These aren't curable things that happen. And so 
Um, so yeah, it's kind of sad that they don't. I find out often afterwards, and sometimes the women will clean up and then come and tell me afterwards mm -hmm. that did you know, by the way, I you know had done this and while I was pregnant, and the answer is no, we do. And of course, we're going to support them. We're not going to try to yeah. take their kids away. We'd much rather than mm -hmm. get healthy. Definitely. You know. So unfortunately, I wish I wish more people were honest about it. Yeah, Dr. Craig, how would you like to summarize this? So really, in summary, I'd say that there's no level or amount of alcohol or drugs that's safe in, in pregnancy. And, um, and I, I mean, I don't want you to panic if you were using alcohol before you knew you were pregnant, but um, it'd be preferable if nothing, if this child wasn't mm -hmm. exposed to anything. Yeah. But I, we understand that there are people that just can't stop, that are struggling with that. And we sympathize with that and want to support that. And, um, we have support here with the office, with your doctor. We have support with Bear River Mental Health. We support with AA and NA, which are available everywhere, um, which are great, great resources. And really the point is, is that we want what's best for you and the baby. Yeah, definitely. Um, and we're not out to punish or make points. We just want the best result for everybody. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure.